Hello, and I guess uh, I guess welcome. Um, if you are new to um, new to this, then you might not recognize my face. Uh, my name is Nate Mattis, and to be honest, I'm just a, I'm a really enthusiastic um, photographer and advocate for film photography as a whole. Uh, you might recognize me uh, from a couple of other things that I've done. Um, I was a host on the PD Exposures podcast and the PD Exposures Network. Uh, the Pete Exposures YouTube channel was my face for however many videos it was. Um, but to be honest, that project has kind of run its course. Um, and over the past couple of months, I've done a lot of reflection and have wanted to really confine everything and figure out exactly what I'm trying to do and what I'm trying to offer the film community as a whole. And one of those things is divesting myself of all of these different little projects I had. I, I had Pete Exposures over here. Uh, you may have purchased one of my, uh, my quarterly film photography publications called Seraph and Silver. Um, so I had all these different things going and they were a lot of fun, but I think it's important, uh, to really understand when it's time to, uh, to not move on, but to, uh, kind of refocus and look more closely at what it is that I want to be doing. And so within that, I still love talking about cameras. You know, I think there's this, um, there's a, there's a lot of interpretation to be had um, as to what it means to be a true photographer. And I think there are a lot of people who still look at it as, um, as you really fall into one or two groups. You either fall into this group A, which is really talking about gear and, and cameras and camera equipment and stuff like that. Um, and then the other group would be those who, who are out there only taking pictures and um, putting their work out there. And I don't necessarily agree with that. I think that there's a lot that can still be said and a lot that can be offered from both groups interacting with one another. And what I mean by that basically is that, um, you know, it, it, it's, it's great to talk about gear, but without the perspective of actually getting out and using it and, and including that equipment in your work, um, it, it, it doesn't carry as much weight. And conversely, going out there and, and producing without really understanding your equipment and what it is you're doing with it, um, it's, it's not as, not as uh, I guess, justified in, in, a, in a more, uh, more overall sense. And so I think that really what this channel is going to be and what I'm going to be doing moving forward is discussing not only cameras, um, but it, again, if you, on the Pete Exposures YouTube channel, um, it was really about just any camera I found, any camera I found at Goodwill, um, any camera that was given to me or that I bought on eBay. I, I just, I found cameras all over the place and as soon as I would get them, I would sit down, like do a really quick Wikipedia overview and get in front of the camera. And that's not what I wanna do here. What I wanna do here is really highlight cameras that I'm using on a regular basis, that I'm really invested in, um, cameras that I think offer something to photographers as a whole, and then also how that intertwines with the personal work that I'm, I'm putting out and more of the philosophy of photography. You know, I, I, I sat down and I have so many notebooks and I, I was scribbling in them nonstop and I was really trying to figure out what it is that, that my goal is for the next couple of months and what I want to do. Um, and and I kept going back and forth between uh, starting my own podcast or starting my own YouTube channel and, and video is really where I want it to be. Um, it's it's really a segmentation of, of what I'm putting out into the world and what I'm putting onto the internet. And so there are instances where it's like, I'm, I'm right in the middle of, uh, right now, of completely overhauling how I, how I store my negatives. And people had asked, you know, kind of the method that I was using. And I, I wanted to be able to share that to them, but it didn't fit into how I have, um, kind of how I have my blog structured on my website. Uh, nor would it have really worked in a podcast because then you're not able to see. And so YouTube provided really the best opportunity for me to be able to go out and, and publish and really get stuff out there um, and really have a, a more direct interaction with, uh, with other film photographers because that's what I love more than anything is, is getting out there um, and meeting people and talking to people and, and going to meetups and going to all sorts of things. So anyway... Uh, as we're coming up on kind of five minutes here, and I was really hoping to keep this under two, and needless to say, it's gone a little long. I will wrap it up. Uh, but I just want to say uh, welcome to this kind of new leg of my photographic journey. Uh, please subscribe. I have links to my social media channels uh, down in the description below. So follow me on Instagram, Twitter, that sort of thing. And 
let's talk. Let's let's open up a dialogue and let's discuss photography and, and film as a whole and as an artistic medium. So thanks. I'm looking forward to it.